In Snake Catcher Part 3, we're going to be detecting collisions between the snakes and the player. To detect collisions between all of the snakes, which are stored in the snakes list, and the block, we need to make use of a for loop. On line number 45, we already have a for loop that's going through all of our snakes one by one and moving them down. This is a perfect opportunity to put in a collision detection. You need to make sure that you're at the correct indentation level. Notice I had to press backspace to get out of the if statement. Now I'm going to type in another if statement which detects the collision between the snake and the block. At the end of the if statement, I need to write a colon and press enter. When a particular snake hits the player box, we need to do two things. We need to remove the snake from the screen by using remove from parent, and we also need to remove that particular snake from the snakes list. These two lines here are what do it. I'm just going to copy and paste them. Now would be a good opportunity to put in a sound effect. To do that, go up to the top and make sure that you've got import sound. If you're ever trying to use anything that involves sound, you need to have import sound at the top. The line of code that plays the sound is called sound.playEffect. You are using the play effect function out of the sound module. Inside of the brackets, you need to write in the name of the sound you'd like to play, or you can get it from the plus menu where you get your images. The particular sound I'm going to use today is inside of the arcade folder, and it's called Explosion 5. You can test out the sound and see what it sounds like by pressing on the play button, and if you want to add it into your code, just press the box.